Exactly, let's start by taking a quick look back to Tuesday, a game I'm probably sure you don't want to look back at too much, but what do you think went wrong down at the City ground? <sighs> um, uh, I don't know what, what didn't go wrong really. Obviously it's not it's not a good one for us to look back on. Um it was a frustrating night. It was a it was a difficult night. And in the position we're in we can't really be performing um the way we did on Tuesday night and expecting to to get out of anything, you know, it was it was it's a tough as a player it's tough to put your finger on why that why the way we played the way we did and why the outcome came out the way that it did, but it's one of the things we can't really reflect on it too much. Obviously, we've got to look at where we went wrong, and I'm sure we'll do that in 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 the changing rooms today. And then, and then we've got to move on. You know, we've got two more massive games where we've got to do everything we can to try and stay in this league, and and that's all it's about now. It was such a big game, wasn't it? There was a lot put on it, being the game in hand. Did the players show enough fight? Did the players show enough spirit? Do you feel to to compete in a game such as that? No, I don't think we did. Um, like I say, I don't know why what why the reason is that. But like I say, we, we, we need to move on from that now, you know, it's 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 a tough one for all of us to take, it's a tough one for all the fans to take, but we've we've got to move on, you know, we can't we can't sulk around after that game. We've got to, we've got to move on and we've got to try and get something out of these last two games now, you know, it's gonna be two duf difficult games there both fighting for something as well. So we've just gotta move on, like I say, we can't we can't dwell on it. We have to move on and try and, and try and pick something up the last two games. What's the feeling like in the camp? And you say you can't sulk. I presume the players aren't sulking. If that's the mentality, you've just got to crack on. Yeah, hundred percent. You know, it's, it's a great set of honest lads in there. You know, um, all they want to do is everyone. All everyone wants to do at the club now is just to keep us in that division. And uh, like you said, there'll be no sulking. We'll, we'll get on the training pitch today. We'll, we'll work hard. We'll work hard today and tomorrow. And then we'll go into the game Saturday and we'll. We'll do our very best to try and try and fight for fight for three points. Do you believe you can then? Do you believe not just you personally, but the the squad that you can stay in this division, that you can close that gap? Yeah, hundred percent. I've never, I've never not believed ever since the day I came in. I thought we we would be safe, and I still feel that now. Obviously, we've we've made it very difficult for ourselves. We like to, we seem to like doing that, but um, no, I still have hundred percent confidence in the fact that we can do it. You know, I, know, I work with them boys every day. I've seen the performances. You look at the performances against teams like Sheffield United, Bristol City, those teams there were arguably some of the best teams in the league, and, and we've 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 dominated games like that. We've won games like that. So I think it, we've we've got the performances in us. We just need to pull it from somewhere and find it within us to, um, to do it on the next two Saturdays. Are the players still behind the manager as well? He's coming in for quite a lot of criticism from the fans. But what about from the players? Yeah, no, of course, of course, we're behind him. You know, obviously, naturally, the manager's gonna. Kind of be the focus of the of the criticism when when we're getting beat, but we've got to look at ourselves as players as well. You know, the, the manager can't take all the all the responsibility for the players. But at the end of the day, so he's not going out onto the pitch and playing. We're the ones that's going out onto the pitch and playing. So we have to we have to take responsibility for that. We have to own up to that, and we have to do something to try and improve it. Mm. In terms of what he talks about a lot, it's belief, isn't it? It talks about the mentality of the players a lot. He believes that you've got the quality. It's just about the the mentality of the players. Is that what he's stressing to you guys as well, privately as well as publicly? One hundred percent. Ever since he's come in, he's, he's just said that there's a lot of quality in the dressing room it's just about instilling the confidence within us to try and to go and show that everyone else there has confidence you know everyone everyone that trains with us every day that works with us every day can see that we have the quality and there's, there's glimpses of it on a Saturday when when we're playing of of the quality but we need to like make it a 90 minute performance of quality do you know what I mean we can't just do one half or 20 minute spell or Something like that. We need we need the full the full ninety minutes to get the results because it's not an easy league and there's no easy game. So to 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 get the points in this league, you need you need the full ninety minutes of it, and it's something that we're not quite doing at the minute. What about you personally as well? You've played out wide a bit. You've played a bit more central at times as well. Fans are crying out for you to be playing as part of a two up top. How do you see that? I'd, I'm just happy to be playing wherever wherever I am. Um, obviously, I've always been a striker throughout my whole throughout my whole career. Everyone knows that and. When I came here, I started playing on the wing, and, I, and I've been scoring goals on on the wing. So I don't think anyone can argue with with that, and and it's good to have Big Kiefer up there as well. And if the gaffer feels like he wants to play a two up front, then I'm more than happy to do that. If he wants to stay how it is and me on the left, then I'm also more than happy to do that. You know, I'm not, I'm not here to try and tell the gaffer where to mm. where to play him. You know, I'm a footballer. I get paid to play football. I don't get paid to 
prepared to, to say where to play and stuff so that that's the completely the gaffer's decision and uh, I'm happy to play as long as I'm playing maybe that's for a bit later in your career that you make those <laughs> yeah afterwards yeah <laughs> give me a bit of career I've only just started playing at the minute so <laughs> let, let me play for a bit first and then we'll talk about that afterwards how hurtful would it be for you to be part of a squad that gets relegated no player wants a relegation on their CV even if it is when whilst you're just on loan at a football club so how hurtful would that be yeah no it's, it's not too much about the CCV and stuff I think it's more just the pride the pride of it really you know no one wants to go down no one like I say, it's a great bunch of boys in there. They've been, they've been unbelievable. We're missing to come in from from the day one, from day one in August for for the couple of days, and then, and then from day one in in January when I signed. And the last thing I want is is for them to, to go down. Because like I say, there's a lot of quality in there. There's some great great lads in there, and, and me and all the rest of the boys that are on loan. All we're trying to do is to to help them, keep them keep them up, and uh, they don't deserve to be in League One. If I'm honest, they deserve to be Championship players, and, and we're going to do our best to try and keep them up there. And a message for those that are going to be coming down here to watch this weekend. They've not had much joy here this season, but we've seen against like of Sheffield United what it can be like when when the crowd's behind you and you you can get that victory. So, what's your message to them who are coming down this weekend? Yeah, 100. percent Even <coughs> I thought the, the fans were unbelievable at the Notts Forest game. To be fair, I thought on the pitch you could hear they were singing throughout the whole game. They were singing louder than the Forest fans, and the Forest were two 0 up. So. Just, just come support us. You know, it's the last home game of the season, and and uh, we we need everyone, everyone's support. I said it. I think it was before the Bolton game. How how big of an an impact they have on us. Um, when you need that little boost, or when you're feeling a little bit tired, and you can hear the fans behind you giving you that little boost, it it really does have an effect on you. And uh, you know, we've been we've been thankful the, for the support all season. And like I say, it's it's been tough for them as, as it's been tough for us. But hopefully, we'll give them something to shout about on Saturday. Good stuff, Tom. Cheers, bro. You mainly focused on, on staying up, but on a personal note, um, it's been a really successful loan spell for you, hasn't it? You've played plenty of games and you scored, I think, more goals than you scored in your whole career before you, you came here. You got your international call up as well. It's been a really good few months for your career, hasn't it? Definitely, you know, I think um, that was that was the main point for me to come out on loan. You know, I could have stayed at Swans in had the easy life sort of thing, you know, um, but I needed to get out, I needed to play regular football and. And almost proved my worth a little bit, you know. People are starting to ask questions. Oh, is he is he just a twenty threes player? All this sort of stuff. And and like I say, yeah, I don't think I would have got that international call up if it weren't for for the loan and stuff like that. So I'll, I'll always be grateful for Barnsley for giving me that opportunity to come and to come and play football. You know, I say you can be the best player in the world, but if you don't have the platform to show it, then it then it's irrelevant. So Barnes has given me that platform to go out and, and show what what I, about what I am as a player, and and I'll always be grateful for that. Sort of repaying that and gratefulness by obviously helping keep them up. Yeah, hundred percent. You know, like I say, my my focus is on is on hundred percent keeping keeping Barnsley up. It always has been ever since I come here. You know, I think I did an interview a couple of weeks ago and said if I didn't score another goal to the end of the season, but all the boys scored fifteen between them and we stayed up, then it's job done. You know, it's it's not about me. It's about the boys staying up and. I stuck by that, you know, if, if I'm just here to help out wherever I can, whether that's assists, crosses, passing, goals, whatever it is, then then I'm here to help the boys and, and I'll try my very best to do that. Where do you see yourself next season? I know it's a tough question to ask, but is the ideal back at Swansea in the Premier League playing more regularly and obviously scoring for them? Yeah, of course. <coughs> it's always been the, the goal. I've got another year left at, uh, at Swansea, so we'll, we'll sit down in the summer and we'll see what, what the best options for us are, whether it's... Staying at Swansea or going going out elsewhere, and uh, but at the minute it's always focusing on on Barnsley, um, looking looking to keep looking to keep Barnsley in this division, and then the summer feels miles away. Um, we'll, we'll get to that when we'll cross that bridge when we come to it and uh, see what happens. For a while, it was pretty much only you scoring for Barnsley. Obviously, uh, that I know the last couple of games haven't scored, no one scored, but there a few players more are starting to chip in now, which must be good for you and the whole team. Definitely, you know, you know. You need goals from all all over the pitch, you know. Um, guards has chipped in with a couple in the last last few games and stuff, so it always it takes a bit of bit of the pressure off my shoulders, so to speak. But um, no, nah, like I said, it don't really matter who's scoring the goals as long as we are scoring the goals. Obviously, we didn't we didn't we didn't manage to score on Tuesday, which was frustrating for us. But you know, there's there's a lot of quality in that team, and there's a lot of boys that can that are able to score goals. And I'm sure the last couple of games, then and hopefully they can chip in with a few. You've only been here since January. This club's in your heart, isn't it? And you'll feel something like you'll feel take it personally if you do get you know if, if you do get relegated. It's, it's really a, a big club in you. One hundred percent. You know, I think with all the 
the clubs that I have been on loan at, the ones that I've had successful spells at anyway, in particular for when I was at Chester, for example. Yeah. Um, it was the first club that had really given me a chance to, to come out and play football. And like I say, I'll always be grateful to Chester for that. And I'll always keep my eye out on the results, that, that how they're doing. I'll always keep up with the boys, how they're getting on and stuff. And like you say, it's like it will always be in my heart. Chester will be in my heart, Barnes will be in my heart for giving me the chance to come and play football when, yeah. when not many other people will have done. And, and like I say, it will, I will 100% take it personally well. Hopefully we don't go down. Yeah. But it, it could be one of the best things ever when we stay up, you know what I mean? As, as a yeah. group f- to pull together and, and keep a team like Barnsley in the Championship is, is, is what we want to do. And also, it could, the good chance it could be your last home game in front of these supporters as well. That's going to be a massive motivation for you. Isn't Definitely, it? you know, the, the fans have been unbelievable with missing to come in. Um, they took right, right to me straight away, you know, I think scoring a few goals helped. Yeah. But um, yeah. Uh, yeah, they've been they've been brilliant with me and uh, I, like I say, I kind of just want to repay them as much as I can with hopefully a, 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 a good final performance on Saturday and yeah. hopefully we get the three points to give them something to cheer about. You've been big on, are you big on social media, you use it a lot. How difficult has it been this last sort of 24 hours it must have been? Yeah, obviously it's been tough, you know, it's, it's never good after... <laughs> Never good after a loss, you know. It's always yeah. <laughs> it. We, we, the thing is with social media, you know, it's everyone. Everything's the best in the world as soon as you win, and then when when you lose, everything's the worst in the world. So yeah, you, yeah, I kind of have to take both sides of it with a pinch of salt, and I think that's something I've learned over the over the over the years. And I'm a, I'm a bit more I'm a bit more clued in with it now. But you know, it's it's it's, it's a platform for the for the fans to try and vent to vent some of the for some of their anger. To be fair, and, and I can't blame them, you know. Um, when when they're winning, well, like I say, when they're winning, they're, they're unbelievable, and when the when we're not winning, they're, they're they're entitled to be to be angry and stuff, and and it's an e- we're easy targets when you put yourself out there on social media, so it's 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 fine, you know. To be fair, the fans have been fine with me again, even even after the yeah. after the losses and stuff. But like I say, I completely understand the position, and it's what it is. It's football, you know. You win, you lose, you go home, and and that's yeah. that's how it is. But uh, nah. There's some harsh words amongst yourself, if you like. You know, cause you're the ones who got to sort it out, and you've got to sort it out today. Yeah, hundred percent. You know, there's so there was definitely a few uh, a few harsh words after the game the other day. Um, I think a few home truths come in um, with some of the boys, and I think that's what need that's what's needed. Sometimes, you know, you need you need that little bit of a, a bit of a rocket. Sometimes, you know, I don't think some of the boys. Realise the the situation that we're in. Sometimes it takes a little bit of a a kick to to see the severity of the situation that that we've put ourselves in. Now you know it was in, it was in our own hands, and now it's not in our own own hands, and it's only down to ourselves for that to happen. So we need we need to stick together. It's, you know we can't be fighting amongst ourselves now. It's it's the most important time for us. We need to be together. There's two more games. We need to work together as a team. We can't have any. Any individuals or anything like that, so we need to stick together and, and we, we'll fight. We'll fight to the end. Because these fans, will, it'd be a massive blow if the club did went down. But if you didn't go down fighting, they would. You know that. No, I don't think. I don't think there'll be. There'll be any case of that. Um, I, n- I never think if if the worst does happen, I don't think it'll be down to the boys not fighting because I know the boys in there. Like I say, they're a great bunch of honest lads, and the last thing they will do is is give up without a fight. So I'm sure you'll see that from from us on Saturday. Oh yeah, no, it makes no difference now. But how frustrating is it that you didn't end up coming in the summer when you're yeah. back? Yeah, no, it's frustrating. Um, we speak. I get that's enough one I get on social media a lot. To be fair, um, of course it's frustrating. You know, what could have been sort of thing. You always hear that sort of, but you know, you never know. I could have come in August. And I might not have scored a goal since till January. So you just got to look at it like that. But of course it's frustrating. Um, there's not much really anyone could have done about it. Um, it's just one of them. Well, seems to be one of them things in football that you can't control. Um, and we just have to try and get on with it. You know, obviously since I've come in January, I've really enjoyed my spell. I've, I've, it's been a successful loan spell and stuff. And you're always going to get them questions in August. What could have been? Um, would we be in this hot position and all that? But you know, the boys were flying at the start of the season anyway. So it's been kind of. Well, I think it's been since I come in that we've been struggling anyway. So it might might be me coming in that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, nah, it's, it's it's just one of them things. You just have to get on. There's nothing really anyone could have done about it. You just got to move on in football and 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 look at it like that. I don't have to think that. But in terms of um, this season, like you said, there's not been able to do it for ninety minutes. But you can see the talent. I mean, what do you feel is missing then? What is it that's missing when you go out on the pitch that you can't do it for the full match? I don't know. It's it is really frustrating one as as a player because, like you say, there's 
there's some spells where we just completely dominate games. We know there's the biggest teams in the league have come and we've dominated them for like 20, 30 minute spells. And then you you look at yourself it's like, why can't we just do that for 90 minutes? And I don't even think it's a, a fitness thing or anything like that. So it's it is really it's a really strange one for us to to to, to have to try and look at. But um, maybe it's mental thing. Uh, between us maybe some teams come and we think oh we have to sit back against these and maybe we give them too much respect whereas if we go out and, and press the life out of them straight away and, and get on top of them that way then then maybe that won't happen I don't know honestly it's, it's we have this conversation pretty much every day between ourselves in, in the change rooms and stuff it's it's a real strange one but we, we have to try and find it we've not got long left now to try and find what what it is and hopefully we'll find it on Saturday and some people will be looking at these last two and saying two sides you play and go for playoffs so it's going to be more difficult but you played quite well against the sides you've had a bit of pressure on them as well do you think it's better than playing maybe a side like Forest who you know they know they've got no pressure to well, I think if you look at the look at the two teams that we've played that, that needed to do something Sheffield United and Bristol City and then the two teams that haven't had anything to play Ipswich and Notts, Notts Forest it's it's like bipolar performances, you know, we was very good against Sheffield United, very good against Bristol City and then we just didn't turn up against Ipswich and and Nuts Forest, which again is, is frustrating, you know, I'd think it'd be the other way around and I don't know whether it was being at home had, had something to do with it um, against Sheffield United and Bristol City, you know, we always, well, me personally, I think we always seem to play better at home than we do away, again, I don't know what it is, whether it's the fans behind us or we just feel more comfortable at home, but... You know, it, it's the championship, anything can happen, anyone can beat anyone on, on the day and, and on Saturday we've just got to go out and look at that. We can't give Brentford too much respect, you know, obviously they're a very good team but we've got to go out there and, and play like our life depends on it because at the minute our life do depend on it. And finally, how much of an achievement would it be looking at the situation right now to, to keep this club up? Yeah, 100%, you know, I still... still um, keep in contact with a lot of the boys at Swansea and stuff and, and they're always texting me every week and stuff and... Just saying, keeping them in, in, in the league, you know, is what an achievement it'd be, you know, for the boys and and uh, that's that's all we've got to fight to do, you know, it's, it's been the goal ever since I come in was just keeping a club in this in this division and that's all the boys went in there, you know, there's no, there's no real individuals in there, no one wants anything for themselves, it's all just about keeping a club in this division and, and I'm sure on Saturday you'll see a performance from us that means that. Cool. Cheers guys, nice cheers pal, thank you. Cheers pal.